Aptus. Before, uh, if anybody heard about Aptus before, you talk to these guys here, you see us at the show or hear anything online, anything like that. Pretty new. Well, Aptus is a, a company started in um, uh, Europe about 12 years ago, actually, in Holland, in the commercial side of things. And, uh, you know, for big commercial crops, potatoes, carrots, grapes, apples, all sorts of uh, large scale commercial agriculture. And uh, the products came out, the research came out of uh, uh, these scientists, not out of a, a company trying to make some money, but out of a scientist, uh, a group of scientists that were doing some research on plants. They realized there were some real issues with agriculture. You know, if you go look out, we were driving by cornfields last week, and uh, it's kind of sad. They're all dead, you know, brown and nasty looking. And there's a lot of issues we have. It's not just because of the drought, but we have a lot of issues in agriculture, and everybody knows this. And these scientists said, hey, there's some real issues. How do we fix this problem? And as they started doing the research, and they looked at this modern agriculture called NPK agriculture, they realized that it's not working. And there was the promise of this working back in the 50s, you know, and when all the soldiers came back in World War II and everything was over, and these chemical companies had all this surplus of bomb making materials, nitrates and phosphates and stuff. They said, well, you know, the plants need NPK, and we've got all this surplus of all these, you know, big industrial materials. <coughs> Let's turn it into fertilizer. So they started fertilizing. The promise was we're going to get faster growth, bigger yields, etc. We're going to be able to feed America. And it worked for a very short period of time. The problem is, is when you use things like nitrates, overuse of nitrates, it creates a natural growth in a plant. Plants do use nitrates, but it does something really interesting. It actually creates a very elongated cellular structure. So that's why we get that really fast growth. That's why they use it on corn, because you can shoot corn very quickly with nitrates. The problem is those cells stretch out, and, and as they stretch out and become elongated, they, uh, the cell walls become very thin, and so it makes them a lot more susceptible to pest attacks. So we're feeding these chemicals, makes a weak plant. So the same companies go, ah, there's a really big problem going on here, what do we do? They say, well, we got these other stockpiles of chemicals that we use to kill a bunch of people and soldiers in the war. I bet they'll kill bugs too, and sure enough, they work really well on bugs. So the same chemical companies that created the problem said, we have a solution to the problem. Call that what you will, but that's, that's how it works. So they started selling the, the chemicals to the farmers. The farmers were spraying the chemicals. And when you spray pesticides and, and chemicals onto the plant, it shocks the plant. The plant is shocked, the immune system stops, which makes it more susceptible to disease. And the cycle begins all over, right? And so this has gone on for the last 50, 60, 70 years or so. And it's created a real lot of problems that we have food that it wastes 30% of our food to rot from farm to fork, at least. And uh, a lot of that's because there's no shelf life on the food, because there's no nutrition in the food, and, and a lot of pest problems. You know, this is really, really big controversy with organic. I mean, you guys read this report that just came out from Stanford, the news study. It's been all over the radio and the news. Stanford came out with a study, and they said, is it more nutritious to eat organic food or conventional food? What's the difference? And Stanford came out and said, you can't find any difference. There's no benefit, no nutritional benefit to eating organic food. And so it's causing uproar. Go to Google, it's all over the place right now. People are bitching back and forth to each other. But one thing that they did say, in spite of that, is they said, but it is better to eat organic because of pesticide residue. Yeah, they said, even if you don't care about the nutrition, that's a big deal. So it is a real big problem. We're creating a lot of disease in our bodies. And you know, everything we are as a human race is because of the food that we eat. And we've really got a big problem with this. And I don't care what you're growing, the same principles apply. We're looking for better yields, we're looking for better quality, we're looking for more nutritious, we're looking for less uh, pesticide use and herbicide use, more natural environment. Even if you're not a fruitcake that likes to you know, do everything organic and eat paleo diets and stuff, you still care about these goals. These are very important goals, no matter what we're growing. And so these scientists saw this problem and they said, we need to fix this. And so as they started researching this, they realized that nature actually figured out some pretty cool stuff. And nature already built into plants and all this ecosystem in the soil and everything ways to fix all of these problems. And if we just use our modern understanding of agriculture and farming and soil biology and stuff and get rid of the synthetic garbage, we can actually still get the yields and still get the quality. The same goals we had back in the 50s, but we can do it in a natural way and we can make ourselves healthier and our, you know, eventually our world and our life and society and everything better.